Breaking news overnight of a prisoner swap between Russia and Ukraine. Reuters is reporting the two countries are set to exchange 115 prisoners today following mediation from the United Arab Emirates. Meanwhile, the U.S. Defense Department has announced that the Biden administration is sending $125 million in new military aid to Ukraine as it marks its Independence Day today. The support comes after Ukraine's surprise incursion into Russia's Kursk region, opening up another front in the fighting and claiming to have captured an area of 500 square miles. Ian Lee is in Ukraine and has visited the forces attacking Russian territory. Good morning. U.S. officials say Ukrainian forces are starting to transition to holding the ground they've taken as Russia has reinforced its defenses. Ukraine's surprise attack into Russia caught Moscow off guard. More than two weeks on, vital supplies, troops and weapons stream into the territory around the clock. We are right on the border with Russia, and if the amount of military hardware is anything to go by, this offensive shows no sign of slowing down. Eyes in the sky capture the fierce fighting. Drones directing artillery to strike Russian positions and protect Ukrainian soldiers. Commander Vitaly, whose identity we were asked to conceal, helped to lead the charge into Kursk. He can't praise drones enough. Reconnaissance drones allow us to monitor the enemy's front line, he says. They also let us reduce the amount of ammunition we use and reduce the loss of our troops. The 117th Territorial Brigade runs drone missions into Kursk. Sergeant Alex leads this unit. How important is this drone in the fight against Russia? Very important. This system is far more effective and precise than artillery, he says. Private Igor is the pilot. If the target is static, it's pretty easy to hit, he says. If it's a moving target, then it's much harder. Private Victor drives the team to and from the front, arguably the most important job of all. When you're being chased by a drone, what goes through your mind? Nothing. Speed and professionalism are the most important, he says, adding they also hope the car doesn't break down. In this war, no one owns the sky. Are you guys winning the drone war? Yes, he says, but recently after the start of the Kursk operation, there are more enemy attack drones on our direction. The U.S. military package includes HIMARS ammunition, Javelin anti-armor weapons, artillery shells, and crucially, systems to counter Russia's drones. For CBS Saturday Morning, Ian Lee, Lviv.